holy, 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 holy. You don't believe me? Read Isaiah. It's the king of glory. Constantly, we have one angel get up the other one bound down. One angel get up the other one bound down. Can you imagine that? And what it does, it magnifies his presence. For your Bible says that through their praise, his, his whole presence, being likes the whole glory. Don't need no light switch up there. Because he's light. See, see, you must remember that Lucifer would bring praises to him. When he got in trouble, that Luc Luc Lucifer's uh, garments were clothed with diamonds and rubies. My God. Mm -hmm. And when the light of God, when the praises came, God would illuminate. And the light of God would come through him and he see the reflection of the diamonds. And he thinking that they were praising him instead of praising God. Sometimes it's, we, it, we have to really catch ourselves when folk begin to pat us on their body. That's right. Somehow another pat on the bike got a way they got an airline. They flow from your bike to your head. And the more folks pat us on the bike, the bigger. Our head began to swell. I, I didn't come to give you many talk about you because there's power in your praise. I think about it. The more folks tell you how good you are, how great you are, the more you want to show. Did y'all catch that right now? If, if, if whenever I need somebody to do something for me, I always talk about how good they can do it. How what oh, they always say that. Yeah. See, leadership has to understand how to uplift folks. So they can know that they can do all things through pride. That's great to them. So, so sometimes I'm talking to people, they want to stay down here. Uh, 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 uh. So I can't let you stay down. That's how I begin to tell you how good God has been to you. I begin to tell you that you can do all things through pride. That's great to you. I begin to tell you that when the old thing passes away, the whole all things become new. Y'all ain't saying that. That's, not, that's what you can have to do for you. So you must understand now that we serve a God who created us in his image and his life. I'm going to preach out for a while. In his image and we made just like him. Look like him, walk like him, talk like him. Y'all ain't saying that. But it's all right. So the thing is, the more we praise him, the more he want to do for us. See, if stuff ain't happening, move around in your life, start telling God thank you. Instead of complaining about what you ain't got. Y'all ain't saying this all right. You ain't gonna get it. And while I'm at the jailhouse, I have saw a young lady coming to get her mama out of jail. And I want her to start telling God, thank you, because I ain't gonna have to go get my mama out of jail. She didn't want that. But I think she went down there for the jail, folks, right? So instead of worrying about what was going on in my situation, I began to pray to God and thinking that I ain't gonna have to go get her. Boy, I know the tears went running down my eyes. I had to walk like, I don't want to see what <laughs> They might thought I was crying because of what was going on, but I was crying because I was telling them thank you. See, I get like that. Every now and then I go to praise him and tears go to rolling down my face. Every now and then I go to tell him thank you, and I feel like running. Nobody behind me. 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 Because there's power. See, I was going to preach it. I don't know how to go to work in the morning. This might be my last time. I don't know how to preach it all the I do. Come on. Come on. It becomes part of me. Yeah. Everything in me begins to, oh my God. My hell you want to praise him. My eyebrows you want to praise him. My lips will go to jail because he's been so good to me. My feet go to my feet go to moving car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's something on the inside. Yeah, yeah. There's something. I feel this thing. I don't know what's going on. I feel something. Because there's something on the inside of me. Yeah, yeah, praise is, is, is what I do. And it ain't based on who I am or who my daddy was. Well, I ain't never seen him nowhere, so it ain't based on who he was. You know, matter how much money you got, you still can praise him. No matter what financial situation you in, uh, my ain't blind crippled or crazy, you still can praise him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
because there's power in your praise. I ain't had to work this. I feel good tonight. Amen. I told the Lord, thank you all. Thank you. Amen. I need you to understand that, and I'm going to reiterate, no matter who you are, or where you came from, or who wasn't there for you, or who ain't going to never be there for you, you still can open up your little raggedy mouth and praise him. Whether you got a tuxedo on, some blue jeans with some holes in them, a tank top, a tuxedo shirt, a turtleneck sweater, you still can praise him. Whether you got pads on the shelves, you still can praise him. Flip flops of bedroom shoes, you still can tell him thank you. Because there's power. Come on. Mm. Now that I got you on the same page with me, let's run over here to Mark and see what he's talking about. So what I need to understand is that I need to show you how, how praise works. Verse 46 says, Now they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great multitude and blind Bartimaeus, the son of Tanya, sat by the roadside. First thing you need to understand is praise will move you from one place to another. Jericho was a cursed place. Praise did not deliver him all the way out of his situation. But, they, but praise got him to a place he could be blessed. Can you get me what I'm saying? See, sometimes God won't move you to snatch you all the way out of that stuff. Because he don't know if he can trust you. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, how, Reverend, since you're so smart, and I am, how do you know God can't trust me? Well, let's check your tide record. Uh, no, he can't trust me. Because he gave me 10, he gave me 90. They work with you. Yeah. And say, give me tea. Come on. You can't trust me. No. Well, Reverend, is that no? What about when he told you when you saw that baby didn't have no shoes? All right. And you had some extra money in your pocket. Come on, And you rolled past the baby and went to Walmart. <laughs> and bought some stuff for the house. <laughs> no, he can't trust you. Boy, he gets hard. Y'all got to fix it up. So praise will transition you. Okay. Now look at what happened. Is he said now? Barnabas is side of the road. The son of Thomas, Thomas means his, his, he was highly praised. So his daddy was highly praised. He was told up from the floor. Kind of remind you of us. Our daddy on the couch on a thousand years. And we broke as a joke. Told up from the floor. He's light. And we walk around in darkness. Toe up. From the floor up. He gives joy. And we'd rather be depressed. Toe up. But look what happened. But when he heard that Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry of praise. Because there's power in praise. The next thing you know, praise will cause haters to jump out from everywhere. You don't believe me? Start telling God, thank you. And then God start blessing you. Somebody gonna start hating. I wonder how they got that right there. I wonder how they doing this right here with everything. 
everything else falling out around me. I wonder why you why they think they so small. Why they know so much? It ain't that they know so much. It's just that they serve an almighty God. Amen. Yes, so we call haters to get upset. And want you to be quiet. See what happens when you be quiet is like cutting your arms off. And then jumping in a box and rain to my left box. You ain't got no arms.